specific thing. But when God searches out the heart, He looks so deep in there, He sees the hurt, the pain, the things that you make attempts to do, things that you plan to do, and, and it seems like it falls apart. And we have big dreams sometimes. We dream that we want to do this or we want to do that, and for some reason, God doesn't let it happen. And we ask God for it because we think it's a good thing for us. But see, God knows our future and He knows exactly what He has to do in order to bring us to reality to serve Him the way we're supposed to. A lot of people serve God with this. Not this. There's a difference. People say, I love you, but then on the back side, they're standing you while they're loving you. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you... When you come before God and you and you want God to search out your heart, He will begin to pull up things that you don't even remember that was in there so that He can bring it up to the light that it can be free from. I was standing here last night. I hadn't seen this before in a long time. I saw a spirit. A white gray spirit. Kind of an eggshell color. I saw it like that. And you know what it was? It was Lisa and Danny. There was something there that was binding them. And I thought, Whoo, just like that. Amen. And then later on, at the altar call, she fell on her knees and started crying. She got delivered to something. What was it? I don't know. Don't care. As long as it's gone, that's all that And pray that it comes back. I preach about the end times a lot because we are in the end times. And we really, truly, honest to God, need to get to a place where we know God's voice and don't have to rely on a preacher to tell you what God said. My pastor, and I told Mario this, I believe it was this morning or last night, because I believe it was this morning because I tried to text him. So. I told Mario... He said, why me? Why me? I said, you'll never know. Why you? Why God chooses you? Why didn't he choose me? I was a hell raiser. Why, why would he want me? Somebody had been in jail. Somebody had been married three times. Well, why? The question will never be answered. But what I did know from it is that God wanted me or he would not have called me to be used. He had a mission for me to do. And I have to do that and nobody else can fill that mission. Nobody else can fill your spot that God has placed in you. You're part of that puzzle the Bible talks about. That's right. You might be the one that influences somebody that the devil has got bondage over so bad that their, their concern for you or their love for you knows that you're real and then they turn around and you have the words that lift off their spirit and then they turn around and be a great evangelist or a pastor or a teacher or just a great Christian. How many people died last night starting out the new year? How many people, you know, they always brag about the baby that's born for the new year at a certain minute in time. But how many people realize that that baby's got a long journey of, of sorrows coming along with some happiness along the way? My grandson, Bobby, where's bringing down here? I was talking to Oki about this last night. God said, let us make man in our own image and after our own likeness. Okay? This is my grandson, Bobby's son. And he goes home with Bobby, not me. But, this child, my son Bobby, my other son Bobby, my other son, Kevin, and myself, if you would take all of our baby pictures and place them on the table, you would not tell which one was which. Thank you. You can go home. I know what that means. In our own image and in our own likeness. But yet in this world, there's somebody that looks just like you. 